I've got my first find here. Right here, a little bit of a heartbreaker. This is a little bloke. Looks like a little butler or something. He would have been, once upon a time, a little cake decoration. A little butler, and he's not glazed. And I have found the complete glazed version of this. And it's the only one I found, the little butler. But we found dozens of broken ones of these little figures. That's just another broken one to go in the broken box. But I also, so I came to sit here, on the edge of this hole, found this shirt of pottery. I don't know what's going on here. There's like a, I don't even know what this is. And there's like this thing, and it looks like it's got little people inside. It looks like an urn. Or some sort of like glass case. But there's like, yeah, look, there's like ladies in there. So I don't know what that is, but I'm going to take it because it's still interesting. Okay, so my first find was actually this. As we were walking over here, a doll's eye and eyebrow, but down below me here, and this is really weird because on the way here we were like, what sort of things are we going to find? And years ago, literally, I found a early golf ball made of gutta percha which is a kind of uh, tree sap from South America, I think. Anyway, no way. I said, maybe we'll find another one. And th this is the second thing I found. This is one here. In good condition, these really early uh, golf balls, this is a bit squashed, can be worth up to 20,000 pounds. But this is nowhere near. <laughs> it's, it's barely recognizable as a golf ball anymore. But this is the second one I've found. And I mentioned it on the way here. How weird is that? So last week, what did we find? A human tooth. Could this also be a human tooth? It kind of looks very human toothy. I don't know. Oh. That, oh no, oh. a bit just came off. That looks like a front tooth. I don't know, that looks like a front tooth, a human. A bit just came off. It I'm does gonna... because I found the other tooth has looking up teeth. Oh my goodness, that that, that does... is. <laughs> it's too big to be like off a like a sheep, a sheep or like a cow or something. It has to be a human. Well, it's not too big for a cow. It's too small. It's too small. What might <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, I can't believe that. Just a bit of enamel just chipped off. I'm gonna keep that little bit. That looks very much like a human tooth. That would be crazy if that was a human tooth. We literally found one last week. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have a whole set of human teeth at this rate. That's crazy. And wasn't I just saying we hadn't found a, foot, a front tooth? Yeah, mum just said, yeah, as well. Last week that we haven't found a front tooth yet. And what's that? And I'm sure that is a human tooth. I think it is. I'm sure it is. <laughs> How weird is that? Gonna have the whole set. I feel like it's gonna be a weird day today. We're gonna have some weird finds. Mm. Ooh, what's this? It looks like a little gemstone. It is, it's very um, cloudy though. Don't know if that'll clean up. Looks like it was pink. It might clean up. But that's a good find, look. A little cut gem of some sort. Possibly glass, not sure. Hello. Okay, we're back at a rubbish dump. Oh, and we haven't been one. here for ages, have the we? The Jaimongus tip. Although you can't see any holes right now because it's completely overgrown mm -hmm. this time of year. I know, last time we were here, this undergrowth wasn't here. I know, it was like early spring. It's been months since we were here and everything's grown up and there's like flowers everywhere. It's really beautiful. Um, but there has been a lot of activity here, hasn't there? Looks like it, yeah. So, so who knows what we're going to find? <laughs> my 
first bead down here, look. And again, it's a little blue bead. Most of the blue beads we find are blue. Don't ask why, they just are. It was very popular. Maybe it's just because the blue is cheaper or something? Uh, we have a few theories, but we don't know for sure. I found a bit of fabric here. It looks like it's wool. And look, you can see the weave of it. Maybe a bit of old blanket. It's really weird when you find something like this. So it's something organic that survived. It's just, uh, yeah, makes it more human. Could be really thick. Oh, it could have been a coat or something, waistcoat. Who knows? Look at that lovely kind of like herringbone pattern in there. Oh, weird. There's some bottles here. See a little plain one? And this big jar. Huge jar. And these are actually really useful for putting fines in. It's got this really wide neck, look. And that would have been some sort of a preserve jar, some sort of pickle jar. You can see the neck, the lip rather, you can see it kind of like wibbly, being hand applied. Actually you can see a bit of the label that would have kind of covered the top of it when it was sealed. So that's pretty cool. So what's that? Bone, there's lots of bits and Tiny little bits of bone down here, look. I think they're chicken bones. Someone's dinner from over a hundred years ago. Is this just the tiniest doll's arm that I've ever found? Look there. Whoa. That is mini. It's a tiny little arm. It's crazy how you can train your eyes to spot these little things when there's so many little things, little shreds of pottery and bone and pipe stem that look just like a little bit of doll. There's a tooth there. Now compare that to your human tooth. That's more like a cow. It's definitely not a cow tooth, is it? <laughs> I reckon we have got a human tooth, that's crazy. But yeah, got a little doll's arm as well. That is really, a really, really tiny one. We've not found many that are that tiny. This is a cute bit of pottery. Look at that, little strawberries. At least I think they're strawberries, stylized strawberries. And a lovely piece of Scottish spongeware. Guessing it's Scottish because we're in Scotland. Oh, hello. <laughs> Partial doll's face. I like that. We can still see the nose, mouth and an eye. And a bit of an ear. Now look at that. That looks like a doll's dish to me. Is it? Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't do this all holding these things. All these doll related things, three in a row. I think that is. <laughs> little dish, look at that. Although there are a few small nibbles on the edge there. Still counts. It still counts. I'm taking it. Love toys. And there is actually half one. There's loads of them. Well, I find two and say there's loads, but these aren't the only one I've seen. Not the only ones. There's a tiny little bit of fabric there. Mum found a bit of fabric as well. That looks like cotton. That's crazy. So it's been sitting here all these years, survived up to this point. I've just spotted something. This is hogweed. Before you say anything, it's not giant hogweed. It's not gonna, it's not poisonous. It's not out yet, actually. Look, the flowers are still yet to come out. Anyway, I'm getting distracted because I saw something 
What is that? That's not a dummy, is it? No way. No freaking way. It's a dummy with the handle and a little bit of the rubber still attached. Oh my goodness. And see the little bone ring? Is that a dummy? Um, or a pacifier? I know some of you might call it. You know what? I think that's what that is. That's crazy. I'm gonna show mum that. I'm gonna put these down. I'm gonna have a another look under here. Oh, everything's just growing up so quickly. Before we have a proper look under all this undergrowth, we'll actually have to wait for it to just die off. <laughs> we'll to come back here in the winter, as we always will. No, I can't see anything else. I think that was just lucky that I happened to spot that. That's crazy. Mum's gonna love that. So this is bone. It's probably bovine bone and that's probably natural rubber. Well, it will be. And the bone ring is really small, smaller than the bone little rings we usually find. That's crazy. It's very, very brittle though. Got to be really careful with that. I'm going to show mum that right now. Oh, it's a little face. Look, it's a little face. In a hat with a chip out of it. Oh, I'm going to keep it. And talking of buttons, there's another one down here. This time it's a glass one. Now here's a big chunky bottle. Looks like it's had a pontal that's been ground off on the bottom. Pontal's the rod that held the bottle while it was being uh, made. That is so heavy and thick. And it's, it's got this funny groove around the bottom. I wonder if it was some sort of soda siphon with the glass being so thick to take the pressure of the uh, pressurised uh, soda water inside. Just a guess. Not sure what this was. It's made of iron. Some sort of catch. Blacksmith made iron thing. Hmm, don't know whether to take it or not. Might not. Interesting though, if anyone knows what that is. Also got our first wee bottle stuff of the day. Oh, and it's one of those ones that have the little groove in the top. You don't see those very often. We've only found a few of these, I think. The little like grooved top stoppers. Kind of reminds me of like a big, like screw, <laughs> like a screw head. What is this? Is that a tiny pipe bowl? I don't know. It's got a hole in it. It curves that way as if it was a stem that way. But look how teeny it is. Not seen one like that before. I think this comb has seen better days. Probably made of vulcanised rubber. Another button. What's this one made of? Bone, I think. We're getting them all. Metal, glass, bone. Need an, a mother of pearl one next. Um, yeah. So you've also found some teeth here. That's obviously a fang. Kind of, the end's kind of broken. And this is a front tooth of a different kind of herbivore. But you can tell that is not human. Like the way the tooth kind of is like bell shaped. And the back of the tooth looks completely different. So that is what a like a horse or a cow tooth looks like. So I think I did actually find a hum real human tooth back there. Which is exciting because we often find animal bones all over the place. 
you don't often find bits of the people. It's a morbid thought, but it's interesting. Not only do we find their things, the things they used, things even on a daily basis, things they ate, but we've also found potentially a bit of them with their teeth, a bit of the actual people whose stuff we also find. So <laughs> it's crazy to think, although a bit morbid, it's still interesting. I think it is anyway. <laughs> Call me crazy. Ah, a spider. Sorry, spider, I ruined your home. There's a massive hole down here. Look at the cracks where it's about to uh, collapse in on the sides. You don't want to go too near the edge of that. Some bottle diggers are really responsible and they fill their holes in after them, but there are the odd few that don't. Is this a tiny lid? Yes, it is. Look. A little doll's lid, probably off a teapot. We need more pots to go with the lids. Okay, another massive hole and I've, I'm in it. I've gone down it. Let's see if there's anything down here. Looks like it was a bit of doll's face. <gasps> Wait a minute, what's, what's, look at this. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at this doll. Its legs are missing. Oh no, but it's like a giant pudding doll. It is what some people might call the Frozen Charlotte, although back in the day when these were made, no one had ever heard of the Frozen Charlotte. That came, that name came in in the 1940s with collectors. But look at that, look how big it is. That is the biggest one of that kind that I have found. What a shame, her legs are missing. Oh no, if only the legs were here. I think that broke a long time ago, probably why it was thrown out. <laughs> oh wow, I'm still happy with it though. Maybe I can make some uh, lower legs for her. She's fantastic. Okay, so this is an amazing find because Alex and I were just saying, I know. I wonder if we could ever find a complete baby's dummy or pacifier. And you know what? It's falling apart though. It's falling apart. It's sad. Oh, you can rebuild it. Look. Look at that. That's the handle. That's a bit of the rubber. Yeah, I've never seen one with a handle like that. And there's the rubber and there's the disc. That's part of the teat. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That is amazing. It's, it's such a shame. It's so delicate. It's so delicate. Well, I've got something to show you as well. Have okay. you ever seen one this big? What? Oh <laughs> my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's a penny doll. Yeah. It's huge. It's oh my big. goodness. What I don't think we It's feet are missing. The legs are missing. I don't think we found one that, that has as much as that. As, as much body as that. But we can make feet for it. We can make some legs. Actually, we might even have some that we found, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, you never know. We, we're going to have to have a look, but that is incredible. I tried to find the legs, but I think it's been broken for yeah, a long time. Yeah. I think it's tell. maybe it's broken and then thrown yeah, out. Yeah. Amazing a penny doll. Crazy. It's a cute little pot here. Hmm, not sure whether to take it or not. We're trying to be good because our house is absolutely full of stuff. But, you know, we'll take things that we might be able to make in th into things to sell. And that's quite small, so... What do you think, Alex? That little pot. Oh, I like that. That can be reused. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We'll take it. Okay, so I've got a few other things down here. I found this pipe bowl and it has a football on it. And on the other side, it looks like two, two men kicking a ball. And I don't think we found one quite like, we do find football pipes, yes. I don't think we found one with the like, the ball and the guys. I don't think we found one like that. Anyway, I saw this 
which got me really confused. It's obviously a teapot lid, but the top looks like it's broken. But the glaze, can you see that? The glaze is covering the top. And it's the same here. Look, there's a chip, but the glaze is covering it. Like it's been broken and reglazed. Isn't that strange? There's obviously a chip there that hasn't been glazed, so that's happened after. But that's unusual, I've never seen that before. Because that clearly looks like it's been broken, look. And glazed. Same here, that clearly looks like a chip, but it's got glaze on it. That's, that's confusing. Oh, and I also found, oh, yeah, the mouthpiece of a uh, pipe, probably a wooden pipe bowl. And this thing. And it's brass or copper alloy of some kind. And you know what? Is that a compass? Not a compass, a protractor? Is, what? Am I saying either of those things right? I can't even remember. I think it's a compass. No. I'm going to have to ask mum. I've actually forgotten. But you know what I mean? You put your pencil in it and it makes circles. <laughs> a protractor. I'm going to ask mum. But anyway, I think that's what that is. A complete Victorian, like, uh, instrument. And I think I'm going to take these things as well. This has got uh, all too big of a chip out of it, so I'll leave it. But it's just, the finds are coming thick and fast today, honestly. There's so much. There's something down here that we found before. It's a teapot lid with a little person on it, like a, is it a monkey or something? We have found these before and I've looked them up, but I can't remember what pottery it was now. It's particular to this one, Scottish pottery. I don't know. It's all broken. I'd like her to cut that out. I have to see because I don't really have, I didn't bring a bag deliberately, a big bag. Because I don't want to take a lot of massive things home with me. We're just looking for the small things as usual these days because, as I've said, we've just got too much stuff. And the larger stuff, we just don't know what to do with it. So yeah, I'll show Alex. So I showed Alex and she thinks we should take it because I did actually buy a complete teapot with a lid like this that we can show you at home to show you what it used to look like. So yeah, I'll take it. And here's another button, another bone one, I think. Look, something else I love to find. A domino. Bone Domino. I found a bit of one of these last week, but this one is complete. And you know what? There's the back of it. Right next to it. Look at that. That's ebony wood. And that's a bovine bone. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love finding dominoes. But you know what? We're looking for a dice. If you've been watching us for any amount of time, then you'll know. We've never found a dice and we really want to find one. But oh, I'm going to have to put these in my bag. Gathering up such the collection. I think I found a marble, look. Oh, it's like uh, pink. It's kind of got like a pinky glaze on it. Isn't that nice? Well, clay marble, these, the clay marbles are more common and they're cheaper than those beautiful glass ones that we also find. But uh, the clay marbles definitely survive a lot better than the glass ones. Look, I found this. It's an old comb, but I noticed there was writing on it here, look. And on close inspection, it says diamond jub. And my best guess is that it said diamond jubilee. And it kind of looks almost hand engraved in there. Look, it's been scratched in there by someone by hand. 
And this was probably to commemorate Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee. Someone made this in commemoration or maybe it was sold as like a souvenir piece or something. I don't think I'm going to bother taking it because what am I going to do with this? It's really interesting to see that Diamond Jub, Diamond Jubilee. Just look at this beautiful old plate. The bottle diggers left it here with this on. A big serving plate. I think they're called chargers. I think there's another name for them. It's so pretty. It's got like cows and a lovely pastoral scene on it. Obviously, it's broken. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, it's heavy. I think it's a grinding stone. Probably for um, sharpening stone. Been on a. It's got a hole in there, like. Been on a thing with a handle. For sharpening knives or something, probably. It's quite interesting. Mm, I don't know, I'd like to take that, but I can't be bothered to carry it all the way back to the car. Yeah, after we found that massive stone and dragged it along the foreshore. <laughs> oh, look at this. That's definitely a test tube. It's really thin. Hmm, I think we can grind the top off. Interesting, I like that. So while we're having a break to eat our lunch, I think we might as well say a thank you. So a great big thank you to everyone who has watched the video, was watching the video, I suppose. Thank everyone you. who has liked the video, everyone who has left a comment down below. I know we say it all the time, but we do enjoy reading your comments. Um, after we get home from a day out like now, we'll, we'll go <laughs> and have, we'll have a cup of tea and read through the comments that we've had that day. Um, and uh, extra special thank you to our patrons of course on patreon who do help to keep us going every month and we really really appreciate it so thank you so much and i should also mention our subscribers so thank you for subscribing as well but anyway and keep watching because there's more to come there it certainly is stoneware bottle here <clears throat> it's quite a nice one actually i don't think it's broken uh, put it up here. <gasps> no! Oh my goodness. It's another dolly. This time it's not broken. These are the shoulders that go on a fabric body. And again, it's quite big. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Oh. I love it. Oh, I'm having a dolly day. Fantastic. I like this tile. They kind of look like glasses. I think it's supposed to be flowers, maybe. It's very Art Nouveau. It's a real shame, though, that it's broken. Oh, well. No way, look at this. I just saw the rim of this sticking out, this bottle. It's blue. And it's 
complete, I think. Is it just plain? Yeah, it's just a plain bottle. Maybe some kind of medicine, I think. But you know what? It's complete. I'm taking that. Oh wait, it has something on the bottom there. Look, what's that say? Does that say proper? Ropers? Oh my goodness, I can't see. What's this? P R O P E R T. Well, I've never seen one of those before and it's blue. Look. Cobalt. Well, I'm definitely taking that. Blue bottle. Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. You're actually joking, look at that. I know. That is crazy. I this think that, time it's not broken. It's not broken, and you know what? I think that might be the biggest, one of the biggest ones we found with I the know, shoulders. I know. You're having a right doll day today. Dolly day. I love it, oh my goodness. We're having such a great day in general, I think. Yeah. It's been amazing. It has, and it's not raining. It's not raining. <laughs> and it's not cold. And it's not cold, yay. I look like a normal bottle stop, but it's not the kind we, you find every day because it is brown. Definitely not the colour you find every day. Oh. That's a bit strange. <laughs> Is it meant to be some sort of plant? I don't know. It's got thorns, whatever it was supposed to be. Hey, Alex might want that for her um, indoor plant display. I've just spotted something sticking out of the bank side here. It looks suspiciously like a bead. Is it? Yes, it is a beautiful, big, juicy blue bead. What more could you want? Delicious. Can you see the doll's arm? Spot the arm. Spot the arm, everyone. Oh, yes, I can see you it. You can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll get a bit closer. Right, can you see the doll's arm, everyone? Let's see, here I am homing in. There it is, look at that. Oh, it's a nice little, bent yeah, a little uh, sort of bent arm with a nice little defined hand as well. Isn't that cute? More dolly things. More doll things. That's my second arm as well. Is that a part of a, no. Oh, we're having a dolly day. Oh, and mum gave me this. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a tree. It's uranium glass. And she thought that that would be good for like sticking into one of my plant pots. <laughs> a little uranium glass tree. I like it. I'm taking it. This is such a cute little glass. It's beautiful. What if I could make something with that? Might take it. Oh, we've got another German marble here, or Merman Jarble, I should say. And again, it's a tiny little peewee. Or an itty bitty, I think. This is even tinier than a peewee. You can see, it's like black, black, white, blue and red. But it's really knackered. Ah, oh, poor little thing. See what I was just saying about how the clay marbles do tend to survive a lot better. What's that bit? Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a head. Oh, look, it's a little woman. <laughs> it's a little woman with a hat. It's just a head. She's got a bit of a jaunty hat on. That looks like the bowl of a spoon. Oh, I'm not sure. It's a bit of a slate. Board. There's all sorts here, look. Bones, some bottles over there, and a shaving brush. Stay in one spot all day and find things. 
This is cool. Bit of a ginger beer bottle. Not the kind of thing we find usually. You don't really find, you won't find these without digging. But it says Home Brewery. I imagine it said that. Ginger beer Edinburgh. What is the picture on there? I don't know. Can't see what else it said. That would have been a nice one. I like the font. But yeah, obviously it's only like the bottom, <laughs> the bottom of one. <laughs> I'm not gonna, not likely to find a whole one. But you never know. You never know. I found this. I think it's part of a oh, wash basin. I think a large, large bowl. But it's got this really cool little scene on it. Look. And I like this. But I don't like the rest of it. I don't want to take it all, but I like that. Ugh, I can't really risk trying to smash it up here. I might leave it behind. I want it, but I haven't got much room in my bag right now. I think these wooden bits are parts of a shaving brush that screwed onto there, look. Bone or wood? Bone, probably. I just picked this up and it's obviously some sort of chemist bottle. The flared lip was usually to like tie a lid on there. And it's, I think it says something at the bottom like Holton Doddington. So I'm going to take that and look it up. I like that. I love these uh, flared out lips and it's look how irregular that is. Yeah, I really like that. Down here looks like a tooth powder bottle. It is, look. Patent. What's it called? Ozol, Odol, something like that. It's a good Odol. Odol, Alex says. Yeah, complete one. Oh, that's mouthwash. Mouthwash, that's it. Yeah, some it was something to do with tooth tooth. Yeah. Mouthwash. It was mouthwash. Look at this little boot. Oh my goodness, look. It's like a workman's boot, only it's tiny. Little child's boot. Worn away. That is not just broken, that's worn away. These little toes must have been sticking out the front. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is getting weird. What's this here? It's just another doll's arm. Look at that. And it's complete. <laughs> another doll related thing. Not kidding, it really is a dolly day. Ooh, this would have been a lovely thing. Look at that. Dalton, I think that might have said. Look at the lovely pattern around the top. Massive, what was it? It was massive. Maybe a, a big plant pot or something? That would have been amazing. Oh no, that would be one of those water filters. Oh yeah, Alex says water filter. Yeah. Oh, found a little uh, pipe bowl here, but it looks like it's got some decoration on. Oh, this ground is crispy. I've got a trowel if you want it. Oh, there we go. We freed it. We freed it. What's on there? Oh. Is it a flower? <laughs> Nothing on that side. Yeah, it's like a little spray. It's like a flower of some kind. I can't even see. Is that the leaves of early or something? Yeah. yeah. A sprig. A little sprig of something. <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't think we found one like that before. I'll take that. And it should clean up alright as well.
and here are all of our amazing, amazing array of what items. an absolute haul today a I haul know. and some funny coincidences as yeah well. i know i know so basically it was a doll day some days we have like themed like yeah. mudlocks isn't that weird how it works out like that this was definitely a doll day and it we was. found on the way there in the car we were discussing what we might find yeah and we found some of the things we were talking about and they were quite obscure things like this oh i found yeah. one of these it was one of the it was actually one of the first things we ever found yeah, on that dump it was um that believe it or not is a golf ball a golf ball <laughs> it's yeah. a gutta percha golf ball and actually, if this was in perfect condition or near, you know, reasonable condition, yeah, yeah. it could be worth up to about £20,000. Isn't that absolutely crazy? But obviously, this one's completely not... <laughs> like the first one I found. Not yeah. in that sort of uh, but saleable I, condition. If I can find the video, I'll put a link below, um, which will tell you all about these kind of golf balls. Oh, and actually, before we got started, I was supposed to say something else. So we've got a brand new video up on our new channel, Lost Tower Diaries. Um, basically, I show the world my bedroom <laughs> because... Nobody I'm... wants to see that, especially <laughs> it, not me. <laughs> just a warning, it's, it's looking a bit hideous. But basically, I start on renovating my bedroom and I start with the shutters, which are actually quite similar to these. So if you're interested in watching me in my bedroom, that sounds dodgy. Uh, yeah, go and check out that video. We'll leave a link down below in the description if you want to check it out. So anyway, back to our table. And uh, yeah, look at all the doll parts. Yeah, I particularly had a doll day. The first thing I found, one of the first things I found was this yeah. little doll's head. Well, it's a figurine head, really, but it could be made into a doll's head. Uh, and then I went on to find this. Oh, wow. Amazing. This is amazing. Penny doll. Minus it's her legs. Such course. a shame she doesn't have any legs. Other than that. You can see on the back where she's been lying on the bottom of the kiln. Yeah. It's all she's covered in grit. Gritty. You can see how. Dusty. Yeah. How, why these were penny dolls. Because they look so how crudely made. They were really yeah. crudely made. They were made to be, I suppose, used and abused. And then what else did you find? Was yeah, that? I found this head and shoulders, would, which would have been a doll similar to that, only with a cloth body. Yeah. And it would have had ceramic arms and le lower legs. Like this, but obviously bigger than this. This is yeah. a tiny one. Yeah, so that's it would have like had little... a, the forearm. Yeah, it's a forearm. Yeah. And then it would have had sewn around this bit, the cloth yeah, uh, yeah. upper arm, bicep, whatever, whatever you call it. And then I found a big chunky forearm. I found two doll's arms, mind you. Yeah. That one's got loads of detail and little that fingernails little, and everything and the little wrinkles little on the wrinkles. knuckles. And you found these two lovely arms. I love that one. Oh, I f this was my first find. And look, that head that I found actually matches perfectly. So <laughs> I love that. I think that's so funny. A lovely selection of pipes, including a football pipe we've never actually found before. It's quite different. Mum found yeah. this tiny pipe. Tiny little pipe hole. There we go. We can see it clearly now. It was all muddy before, but yeah, some blokes uh, kicking a ball around on the grass. And then a big ball here sitting on the grass. So that's cool. Yeah, and the usual ones, they have these men on. But yeah. They don't have the big ball on the other no, side. No, they don't. That's different. They might have one in the middle or something. And I really like this little sprig as well, which is yeah. different. And I'm like, wondering what it's supposed to be. Some sort of Lily of the Valley. Oh, do, or is it like berry of some sort? Is it like Christmas themed? Is this? Um, it doesn't look like holly though, does it? No, not holly. What's the other one? Oh, mistletoe. mistletoe. Oh, it might be mistletoe. That, that's kind of what it reminds me yeah, of. Is this like a does. Christmassy mistletoe pipe? Yeah, I think that might be what it is. Love the domino. This we've got like loads of dominoes now. So many in our collection. The other thing about this pipe is it smoothed off on the end. Yeah. It is. So this one is, look, see how it's all been whittled away? Yeah. You can actually see the whittle marks. They actually smoked them this short. They it's did. Crazy. They did. Nose warmers. <laughs> yeah. And it's almost like they've deliberately broken off the heel. Yeah. So that was getting in the way, maybe their lip or something, because it was so close to their face. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, another human-related thing is our tooth right here, look. 
and I've glued on another tooth, the last, human tooth. This is so weird. If you watched our last week's video, we found a front tooth. Didn't yeah, we? An, an you found it. Yeah, an incisor. This is And a... I was saying to Alex, we've never found a front middle tooth, you know, the two front teeth. It's, a, it's still an incisor, isn't it? But it's a called a something incisor, yeah. a front one. Yeah, I think these <laughs> Don't are know. all the incisors and they've all got different names, and haven't they? This one, if you look at the top of the root, it does look like it was decaying a little bit. Yeah. It is looking a little bit crispy on top there. And it, there's actually some discoloration on the enamel look, the brown. And some splits. I don't know if they've happened later or whether they were. I don't know. I think this was an older yeah, person. Looks because like an older... look how worn the and shiny the enamel is on yeah. the back. It's, it's kind been... of, you can see how worn it is it's on the worn, edge. Yeah. Though. Isn't it so fascinating? You can find a little tiny piece of someone's bone and <laughs> tell you all these little things extract, about them. It is possible to extract DNA from teeth. Um, how crazy would, would that be? It would be very expensive, but... It would. And I'm then you sure. could put it on a, an Ancestry website or something uh, like that. It might be illegal, but... And yeah. find out who the tooth actually belonged to. See, um, I know I showed this last week as well, but there it is. There's our incisor there that we found, that you found last week. Yeah. So and this I think, is going to go in there. And that's got the marks on it from the pliers where it's been pulled out. I don't think this one has. No, I've looked at this, it doesn't have one. So anyway. It puts my teeth on it. It's in. quite hideous. Well, yeah, yeah, anyway. So I think they are probably our main finds, our favorite finds in the middle. Um, and but we have some nice, interesting we do. bottle finds. Yeah. Surprisingly. I mean, I found this and it's only the second full-sized hole one of these that um, we've ever found. Yeah, and this is an Odol bottle, which was mouthwash. And the other one I noticed has Odol written on the bottom, but this one doesn't. It just it says, says patent. patent. I think it might be a bit older because... Older or younger? The I don't top know. is funny. It's sort of, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not yeah. smooth. Oh, actually, down here, hold on a second, because... And it's got a number there as well. We found this mini, this baby on the foreshore. So they, we found this one while we were mudlarking. Yeah. And I it's think baby that one, one says, how many? This says, M. This says M108. And this just says 18. Mm. Does this have Odol in the bottle? Yeah. yeah. Look, this one has Odol written on. And a lot of people at first, because we were, oh, there's a bird on top of the camera again. Look. Yeah, you've got a bird on your you've head. You've got a finch on your head. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we were led to believe this was toothpaste when we began with, because we saw a lot of pages, people yeah. saying that these were toothpaste. And when I was young, it was, uh, I was told they were toothpaste. So I got that into my head. Yeah, um, and but then, they're not um, actually. When we looked it up, it, the ads all clearly say mouthwash. mouthwash bottles. There's literally an ad with it like being poured out into a little jar. So yeah. it's like Chinese whispers. Like things get kind of it's something to For do with one the mouth. Will say something. It's something to do with dental hygiene. You know, that's and about it. Catches it. on. Yeah. yeah. And moving on to, I think you should talk about your little jar. Well, no, teapot lid. That's teapot it. lid yeah um yeah we found this it was very difficult to find out what it was just from that yeah because it was broken off the teapot lid and someone in the comments recognized it <clears throat> and so i looked it up and i yeah. was able to go on line and i actually bought one look <laughs> this one is actually a little bit smaller i think than yeah. that one look slightly smaller and they're made in scotland and I, what I was it supposed to be? Oh my goodness, I can't even remember it. I can't remember anymore. I'll have to put it on the screen. It's that long ago. It's a beautiful little... Yeah. I love this mottled glaze. I think it's a coffee well. pot, not a teapot. A coffee this, pot. Maybe this was off the teapot and that's the coffee And was pot. it supposed to be someone in particular? I can't remember. Was it supposed to be But like look a, how crudely know. made they are. That one is very crudely made. We can't find, it's somewhere in the house, the original broken one of these that we found. But yeah, they're all very similar, but obviously individually made because they're all different. It's just sort of this person sitting there wrapped up. I love it. And he, it's so great to have the entire teapot. Can I show you? It's not There's inside, something is inside. It? Is it? Maybe it's, it's not the... inside, is it? Oh, my goodness. Is it? <laughs> I, this is why we couldn't find it. it was, I, I forgot. Oh, my goodness. 
There it is. Look there it is. There's the original one. And that was live. Look. That wasn't rehearsed. And then we got yeah. we got three. So look. Ta da. How cute are and they're they? They're all different, aren't they? They're all they all must have been made individually, not it's, molded. And it's great to have it's got actually what's that, a registration number on the bottom oh, actually? It says Oh yeah, it's got the name of the maker on the bottom. What does that say? Oh my goodness, I can't see something, through the camera lens. Something field. Bellfield and co. Bell there you go. Well there we go. There we go. Oh look, and another interesting look where the kiln stilts were on oh, the bottom. Yeah, the kiln stilt. Where it's been the kiln. Oh, I love held that. off the bottom of the kiln. I love that. Yep. So this is what those would have looked like. Isn't it great to have an original example? That's that's hilarious. It I know. Was in the pot. Yeah. I was searching for it. I was like, <laughs> where on earth did we put it? It was in here the whole time. <sighs> that's typical. Terrible memory. Oh dear. That's hard to remember. We've found literally I thousands and, and there thousands are all, of the things. stuff we found and they're all over the place. But our most precious things, our favourite finds, we keep in here in the sitting room. Yeah. And the year's most, <clears throat> as you know, the window of wonders, the year's best finds, our favourite finds, go in the window. And then at the end of the year, they go in the cabinet. But anyway, another interesting uh, bottle-y find. It's not really a bottle, it's actually... A jar? I thought this was a chemist jar because... When is a door not a door? When it's a jar. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just had to get that out. <laughs> yeah, a chemist's um, bottles also have the flared lip for yeah. tying um, the lid around the top for extra security. But this turns out, um, it's got the name on the bottom, Halton Uddingston, and that's up near, it's in the Clyde Valley up near Glasgow. Not yeah. far from where we found it, actually. And it was fruit preserve. Yeah. So the Clyde Valley um, in the 19th century was well known for fruit growing. Small fruit like gooseberries, mm. um, raspberries, currants of all sorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things like that, plums. And, of course, um, they had a booming fruit preserve industry. And... The, uh, a lot of Irish fruit pickers, they came over to help with the fruit picking. Um, later on, this company changed uh, their output to sweets and confectionery. Yeah. They made toffees and all sorts of things like that. And eventually, they were taken over by a big company in London called Bassett's, which made licorice all sorts. So they went from fruit preserves to sweets, basically. So we think this jar might be... For more like fruit, fruit yeah. than sweets, because it looks like more like a yeah, preserve jar, yeah, doesn't it? it? Does, yeah, with the Maybe it was lip. like jam or gooseberry so jam had, or something um, like that. A big cork in there and then something over the top yeah. tied on. Yeah. So that I thought that was quite interesting. It's a little bit of history of the yeah. Clyde Valley there. Oh, and what do they call it? The fruit basket of Scotland. Yeah. So I like that. Yeah. I like that phrase. It's like England. Um, Kent was the fruit basket of, of England. England. Yeah. Oh, okay. I love our finds this week. Um, I love to see this tab the table yeah. full of so many bits of dolls and gaming pieces. Yeah, and toys. I love to see love toys, toys on the table. A nice collection and of toys. And this marble you found. A pink. I think it's beautiful. I think it is as well. Oh, yeah. And uh, not to forget this interesting piece of glass. <laughs> and now, that is a bizarre, it is bizarre. piece of glass. Um, it looks like a bit's broken off here. I think there might have been a similar tubey thing on this side. Either longer no, like, or shorter. Yeah, maybe it's like some sort of bud vase, I think. That's not broken, it's been ground off there. Yeah, yeah so I can it's see a it's nice and shiny. Um, but unfortunately, I did fill this with water and it all pulls out of here. So we need to maybe attach, like stick something down here. like. Yeah, we thought we'd put know. some resin on there <laughs> and stick something. stick something on there. Yeah. Maybe and a pipe bomb. It is uranium, but only half UV glass. So this base glows under UV light but this tubular stemmy looking thing doesn't yeah that's really strange because the stem does look UV. yeah it does it really does but when you kind of look closer you kind of can see that yeah um, it's got a uranium kind it's of got look a bit of a to miltiness it. to it yeah the, a... you can't really describe the look yeah. of um you just know the look don't yeah. you of UV glass it just has a how, how do you describe it? I don't know. It just looks like it's glowing in the daylight. But anyway, um, we, I think it's 
I think it's I'm great. not saying anything like no, it. No, I am gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna actually put a, like a cutting on in there or something. Yeah. But anyway, before we talk too much about everything, because there's so much to talk about. And we're going to say goodbye and we really hope you enjoyed watching this video. It was a really fun day for us, um, struggling around in the undergrowth. And um, yeah, don't forget to check out our Lost Tower Diaries video. Uh, it's definitely, well, I, not to be biased or anything, but I think it's worth the watch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not in it, it's just Alex. <laughs> it's just me in my room, I think, yeah. It was quite nerve-wracking posting my bedroom, the inside of my bedroom, but yeah, it's, it's quite done now. Looking at it, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, it's pretty bad. Anyway, uh, I suppose uh, we'll see you again next, next week. week. Bye. Bye.